KATV News at 4. We begin with breaking news. Multiple injuries have been reported after a truck crashes into a Dairy Queen. It happened at the location on Verona Road in Penn Hills, and that's where KDK's Marty Griffin joins us from. Marty, what were you able to find out? Well, it's a mess. Uh, look over my shoulder. There's explosion and then pandemonium here at this DQ Dairy Queen along Verona Road. Just about 3 o'clock this afternoon. See that gaping hole in the side of the Dairy Queen? A landscaping truck with a trailer on the back loaded with equipment, lawnmowers, that sort of thing. A crashed into the side of the Dairy Queen just before 3 o'clock. The, the landscaping truck had a driver in it. There were four employees inside the Dairy Queen. Uh, from what we're told, there are five people injured. We're told that everybody appears to be okay. I'm told the driver of the landscaping truck, as you can see, blew through that wall. I'm told he was taken to the hospital. I'm told he had a bleeding from his head and a rib injury. Uh, a woman that co-owns the Dairy Queen, she was injured. Her husband, who's the owner, he was injured. And two employees. Uh, folks right across the street who saw this whole thing happen, let me show you. This is Verona Road right here. They say that the landscaping truck came this way. An eyewitness told me she owns a daycare. She was out here in the yard with the kids. She tells me that the landscaping truck in this area stalled. Uh, she doesn't know why. She said it went silent, and the driver of the truck was unable to break the truck. If you see where all the reporters are standing, uh, you see a um, metal barrier there. The truck actually blew through that barrier and then down into the Dairy Queen and inside the Dairy Queen. They just took the truck away. Uh, they just took the trailer away. Five folks taken to the hospital. Looks like the most serious injury, but not life-threatening, I'm told, is the driver of the landscaping truck. Again, the owner and co-owner of the Dairy Queen and two other employees hurt, but I'm told they were taken to the hospital with minor scrapes and bruises. Initially, there was concern that there was a gas leak, no gas leak. Initially, there were concerns, some serious injuries. I'm told at this time, no serious injuries. By the way, traffic just kicked up here again on Verona Road at the intersection of Mount Carmel Road in Penn Hills. So traffic is moving again. Reporting live from Penn Hills, Marty Griffin, KDK TV News. Okay, Marty, thank you. A young man's life comes to a tragic end. The motorcyclist out for a ride on a borrowed bike loses control at the worst possible time. The oncoming driver didn't see it until it was too late, and now police are trying to figure out what caused the man to lose control. Amy Wattis has the details. The victim's grandfather is a volunteer firefighter here in Hanover Township. He tells me he's relieved he wasn't working or else he could have responded to last night's call, only to find out that the crash victim was his grandson. A tragic night on Route 30 near Hozak Road in Beaver County. State police say 22-year-old William Way died after crashing the motorcycle he was driving. He wasn't wearing a helmet. Our cameras weren't allowed near the crash site. The crash happened around 12.30 in the morning in Independence Township, not far from the Hanover Township line, where Way's grandfather works as a volunteer firefighter. His grandfather didn't want to go on camera, but says he can't believe his grandson, fondly known as Willie, is gone. He just had dinner with him Tuesday night. State police say Way was traveling east on Route 30 when he lost control around a curve. The motorcycle went into the path of a car headed west. The bike hit the car head on. Way was thrown into the windshield of the car and pronounced dead on scene. Police say Way borrowed the motorcycle from a friend. The driver of the car was not injured. The state police barracks in Beaver is handling the investigation. In Hanover Township, Amy Wattis, KDK TV News. New at four, a man accused of shooting and killing another man over a plate of food is headed to trial. 59-year-old James Buterbaugh of Indiana County waived his preliminary hearing. He's accused of getting into an argument with David Ackerson over some food. Buterbaugh left the home, and when Ackerson followed, Buterbaugh allegedly shot him. Officials say a plea agreement is possible in this case. State police are investigating an attempted child luring in Hemphill Township. They say a man stopped a 15-year-old boy on Todd School Road yesterday and told him to get into the van. The teen said no and ran into his home. The boy said the same man followed him on foot the night before. The boy says it's a white man in his 40s who's about 5'10 with black hair and a crew cut. The man was reportedly driving a white full-sized Ford 
with no registration. It was a van. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. An investigation is underway after somebody stole a box of money from the Rivers Casino. The box collected tips for casino employees. The casino has clear surveillance video of the theft, which should help in the investigation. Rivers says it will reimburse its workers for those gratuities. A routine traffic stop ends with a suspected drug dealer behind bars. Sarah Arbogast has more on how police caught the man just in time. Brandon Elston kept his head down as he was walked out of the North for Sales police station. The 25-year-old is facing a number of drug charges. He was taken into custody with 25 bricks of heroin. Police say the drugs were discovered during a traffic stop along Route 22 in Wilkins Township. Authorities have been targeting Elston for about a month. They were planning for an undercover officer to do a controlled buy Wednesday, but the traffic stop happened before that buy. The investigation into Elston's alleged drug dealing was the focus of a number of law enforcement agencies. It was a joint investigation between the Wilkins Township Police, McKees Rocks Police, North for Sales, and Swissville under the umbrella of the District Attorney's Narcotics Enforcement Team. And Elston isn't just facing charges here in Pennsylvania. A federal parole out of uh, West Virginia for the similar charges, weapons and uh, drugs. Police say the drugs had a street value of about $12,000. They say this arrest is just one step in an ongoing effort to clean up the streets. Sarah Arbogast, KDKA TV News. It was a violent night for a local Jitney driver. It happened in the 800 block of Woodworth Avenue in Wilkinsburg. Police say the driver went there to pick up two men. He says seconds after picking them up, he was maced. The driver stopped the car and says the passengers roughed him up and took off in the car. The vehicle is described as a black colored 2003 Chevy Trailblazer with a Penn Avenue auto sales sticker on the license plate. The State Public Utilities Commission has approved emergency applications for ride share companies to operate in Allegheny County. The vote was unanimous. Lyft and Uber use smartphone apps to dispatch drivers who use their own personal vehicles to give people rides. The companies have come under fire over concerns that drivers, their vehicles, and especially their insurance do not meet regulations for taxi cabs and other similar services. After the announcement today, Mayor Bill Peduto issued this statement saying, quote, this unanimous vote underscores Pittsburgh's leadership in supporting 21st century transportation options. I will keep working with the PUC and others in Harrisburg to allow for them permanently. And good Thursday afternoon to you, everybody. I'm John Burnett in the KDKA TV Weather Center in for Chief Meteorologist Jeff Rosella on this gorgeous afternoon that began a little on the cool side. What do you see tomorrow morning? Talk about chilly. We'll be down there. Some of you, in fact, will wake up to mid to upper 40s for lows tomorrow morning. Most of us not quite that cool, but those of you north of the city, north of I-80, especially have a good chance at and over in the Laurel Highlands, too. Meanwhile, the other good news, we've got showers pushing out away from us down south and not scheduled to return until late in the day on Saturday. Yes, unfortunately, it does look like now there's a chance for showers both days of the weekend, but... Tomorrow will be spectacular, and so is today. 74, our current temperature with a partly cloudy sky. Uh, winds out of the north at 9, and dew point and humidity levels are continuing to drop. Overnight, we'll go clear and cool with light winds and lows in the low to mid-50s for most of us. But as I said, a few of you down there in the 40s. A two-dog night almost. And I'll be back with more on that in my full five-day forecast coming up. Kimberly? Okay, JB, thank you. Let's take a look and see how the stock market did today. Here's a live look at the big board on the New York Stock Exchange, and it looks like stocks actually held pretty steady today. The Dow is going to close down, but only by about three points. The S&P is up, the NASDAQ is down, but just by a little bit. We'll have a look at those final closing numbers coming up a little later in this newscast. More bodies are being hauled away from the crash site in Ukraine. Up next, who is now taking on the task of identifying the remaining victims and sifting through the debris. Plus, the mystery is unraveling about how the body of a concert goer ended up in an Ohio landfill. What police say may have caused his untimely death. Mia Hamm has always been driven to win. The conviction to be the best. This is the Mazda way. Now during Mazda's winning lineup event, you'll find two cars on Car and Driver's 10 best list. And for a second year in a row, Mazda is KBB.com's lowest cost to own brand over five years. Come see Mazda's most acclaimed lineup ever. What do you drive? 
Now, lease the 2015 Mazda CX-5 Sport for $229 a month for 36 months. Some, some. <laughs> That's all I need? At MTV, we only service what you need. Get a summer price break on Cooper. Buy three select tires, get one free with paid installation. Buy three, get the fourth free instantly featuring Cooper. That's all you need. I am King Arthur. Oh, yeah, no. And this is Monty Python's Spamalot. A new musical lovingly ripped off from the motion picture Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Run away, run away. Featuring a belly of beautiful showgirls. Ah, ah, French people, we, we don't miss the smash hit Broadway musical Spamalot. Or else we shall say neat. Presented by Pittsburgh CLO, July 29th through August 3rd at the Benedum Center, PittsburghCLO.org. Since 2007, the Pittsburgh Promise Scholarship Fund has been improving our city's schools, nurturing great talent, and keeping our region's workforce strong. But without your support, none of this would have happened. Help us keep Pittsburgh's promise to Pittsburgh's kids. Romano Law Group handles all types of injury claims. Of course, we don't charge a fee unless we win. Who charges for losing? Call Romano Law Group today at 412-642-9100 and let us start building you a stronger case. TriStar, the area's largest commercial truck group. Check us out at TriStarTrucks.com. One week after Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 was shot down, the process of recovering and identifying the victims continues. Officials say 74 coffins left Ukraine on two separate planes headed to the Netherlands. The Red Cross is now at the crash site searching for any remains left in the fields. They had previously stayed away due to security concerns. We will not know until the identification process has completed if we will be able to identify everyone. So far, only three Malaysian investigators have been working to get answers about what went wrong. Investigators say there is evidence a missile may have shot the plane out of the sky. Pro-Russian separatists deny any involvement. A mother and daughter have now died from their injuries after a food truck exploded in North Philadelphia. The 42-year-old woman and her 17-year-old daughter were both severely burned when a propane tank ignited. The woman was the owner of the truck. Eleven other people were hurt in the blast, three of them critically. Authorities say they now know what led to the death of a concert goer in Cleveland. They say 22-year-old Corey Barron may have fallen down a five or six story garbage chute at Progressive Field. Barron was there with friends for a Jason Aldean concert. His body was found earlier this week in a landfill outside the city. Her story is horrific and unimaginable. But now a victim of the so-called House of Horrors in Cleveland is telling her story in a new book. But she wants the public to know about her years in captivity. Another plane mysteriously drops off the radar. What officials think happened right after the pilot requested to change course. Live tonight. I've never seen anything like this. Big Brother promised you a twisted summer. This is just brutal. I don't even know what's happening. And they have delivered. It's like crazy, just mayhem up in here. With insane competitions. Huh. And house guests so ruthless. I will lie, cheat, steal, and kill to win this game. It can only get better. What you got, Big Brother? What else you got to throw at me? Don't miss a new Big Brother. Live tonight. Only CBS. There's nothing like the 2014 Nissan Sentra. It's sure to keep you and your friends moving and connected. Yeah, life at the top is pretty good. Choose the 2014 Sentra, just $149 per month. Or get 0% APR financing. It's a great choice. Nissan, innovation that excites. Shop at ChooseNissan.com. Over the last couple of years, there have been a lot of problems in the schools, a lot of cuts in the schools. Governor Tom Corbett cut nearly a billion dollars from education, forcing school districts to fire 20,000 teachers and staff. Tom Corbett does not understand 
the effect it has on children. His education cuts forced local governments to raise property taxes, all while he refused to make the oil and gas industry pay their fair share. We're living paycheck to paycheck. I'm paying more taxes, the middle class is paying more taxes, and these large companies, they're the ones benefiting. We cannot afford four more years of Tom Corbett. Hi, Judge Shilkin here for the Pittsburgh Barbecue Company. These days, the growing trend for weddings and rehearsal dinners is quality casual food like brisket, smoked chicken, and ribs. And nobody does it better than the Pittsburgh Barbecue Company. Planning a catered banquet, picnic, reunion, or corporate event, the Pittsburgh Barbecue Company can serve 10 to 1,000. Quality meats cooked low and slow. Call the Pittsburgh Barbecue Company at 412-563-1005 online at pghbbq.com. Summer. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Right now, current lessees can get this 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for around $149 a month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. A plane carrying 116 people has disappeared over the Sahara Desert in North Africa during a rainstorm. French fighter planes are searching for wreckage. Marley Hull has more. Flight AH-5017 was flying from Burkina Faso to Algeria's capital in North Africa when it disappeared from radar during heavy rain early Thursday morning. Officials believe it crashed in the Sahara Desert in northern Mali. Contact was lost with the plane just 50 minutes after takeoff, around the time the plane sent a message asking to change its route because of bad weather. Uh, there was discussion of, of poor weather in the area, but, but clearly lots of aircraft managed to fly successfully through poor weather. 116 people were on board the Air Algerie flight, including 50 French citizens. The MD-83 was leased from private Spanish airline Swift Air. It was missing for hours before the news was made public. Marley Hall, CBS News. Authorities in Taiwan are now identifying the victims of a plane crash yesterday that killed nearly 50 people. Authorities are looking into whether strong winds from a typhoon played a role in the crash. Investigators are hoping to learn more from one of the flight data recorders, which has been recovered. Friends and family members gathered at a New York church to say goodbye to a man who died as police tried to arrest him last week. Cell phone video of Eric Garner's arrest shows an officer putting him in a chokehold. The chokehold tactic is prohibited by the NYPD. Officers were trying to arrest Garner for allegedly selling illegal cigarettes. The officer involved was put on modified assignment while police investigate the incident. Arizona's governor has ordered a full review of the state's execution process after it took almost two hours for a condemned inmate to die. Joseph Rudolph Wood was said to be gasping and snorting for air for more than an hour after the lethal injection process started. It is the third controversial execution this year involving lethal injections in which inmates took far longer than expected to die. Two drugs worked. He eventually died. But I can't imagine this is what the criminal justice system had hoped for when they came up with this new drug protocol. A similarly drawn out execution in Oklahoma this year previously raised concerns about the drugs now used in lethal injections. All right, let's check in now with your forecast. JB is here with that and we're getting a little reprieve from the humidity, which Ooh. is nice, but I hope it doesn't mean summer is gone away because I'm not quite ready for that because it kind of feels a little like a touch of fall in the air. It does. You're exactly right. <laughs> and it's going to be even more like that tomorrow morning, Kimberly, but I would, you know me, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do that to you. Good. I wouldn't steal your summer or yours. We've still got plenty of that to go, folks. Remember, it'll be summer until that third week in September, technically. But Kimberly is correct. It does. There is a touch of fall in the air, and certainly you'll know that tomorrow morning as you get up and get going and find temperatures to be in the 40s and low to mid 50s. What a glorious night we've got coming up. Great for stargazing, clear skies, and tomorrow looks absolutely stunning. We'll get to that in just a second. Today, not too bad. Some puffy fair weather cumulus clouds overhead here as we take you to Robinson Township, Montour High School weather bug location. And here's a live shot. You can see not a whole lot happening with the flag on the pole on the right hand side. Nothing on the field going on. It's quiet. The parking lot's got two cars in it. There's a little movement there in the uh, lower, uh, lower left hand corner of your screen as you see one of the 
bushes swaying back and forth. So, and there's the flag it just picked up. Got a little breeze down there in Robinson, but it's all in all a spectacular day with temperatures around the region almost all in the 70s, comfortable, low humidity and dew point levels. Over in Johnstown, they're the exception to that 70 degree rule at 69, so they're close. And the rest of us doing a little bit better all the way up to and including Catanning at 77 degrees. Pittsburgh International, not quite that healthy, not yet, but not bad. 74 degrees, low humidity. Look at this, 44%. Dew points down around 50 degrees. That's when things really start to get comfortable with a dew point that low, humidity under 50%. Pressure is just over 30 inches of mercury and the winds right of the north. At 9, here's that radar satellite composite. You can see a few showers now associated with that cold front, but they're well south of the area down in central West Virginia and moving that way off to the south and east with the cold front back north up into Michigan. You can see where our weather usually comes from. Nothing but clear skies there, and that's our stock in trade tonight. That's what we'll be dealing with, and most all day tomorrow. Hardly a cloud around tomorrow, I don't think, with low humidity. Temperature with abundant sunshine will be up there around 77 or 8 degrees, but it's going to be delightful because of that low humidity and light winds. Then, unfortunately, as we head to the weekend, all good things must come to an end. And they will as this warm front approaches on Saturday afternoon. Now, the first half or two thirds of the day on Saturday will be rain free, but rain will creep into the picture. It looks like late Saturday and then off and on during the day on Sunday and on into early Monday. We'll be dealing with showers and isolated storms. So enjoy the next couple of days. They are going to be good ones tonight. Pretty sweet. A starry night. Calm winds, cool temperatures down to 54 degrees, our overnight low. And then 78 for the high tomorrow with sensational conditions. I've been talking about this for several days now. One of the best days of the year. Saturday, showers arrive, but not till the afternoon. So the first two-thirds of the day is rain-free, I think. Sunday could be raining at any old time that day. Monday, morning showers around. And then it looks like we clear out in the afternoon and give way to a nice day on Tuesday with a chilly high. Well, not chilly, but lower than normal at 71. Kim? Davey, thank you. Be the envy of your neighbors. Three simple steps to keep your lawn looking lush and green all summer long. Plus, missing the deadline, where the U.S. Postal Service says it is lacking when it comes to delivering the mail on time and the reason behind the delays. They're supposed to keep kids hydrated. Sports drinks are popular among active children, but now a warning from the dentist. What parents need to know coming up new at 5. If you've got places to be this summer, then get to your nearest Honda dealer today. The summer clearance event at your friendly local Honda dealers. What a great time to buy. That's what clearance means. Like incredible savings on the eight-passenger pilot, the fuel-efficient CRV, or the award-winning Odyssey van. Everything you expect from Honda. Safety, reliability, great gas mileage, high resale value. The summer clearance event now at your local Honda dealers. Great cars, great people. The gods of soccer are coming to Pittsburgh. Don't miss Sergio Aguero and Premier League champions Manchester City take on Italian superstar Mario Balotelli and AC Milan in the Guinness International Champions Cup. Sunday, July 27th, Heinz Field. For tickets, visit internationalchampionscup.com or call 1-800-745-3000. Manchester City versus AC Milan at Heinz Field. The Guinness International Champions Cup. Experience greatness. Love this new couch from Value City Furniture. So stylish. Really puts the old furniture to shame. Yeah, suddenly the coffee table looks dis. Oh. Mm. You're right. I can't even look at it without. Oh. 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 All we can do is make getting great style easy. The rest is up to you. Value City Furniture. Style comes easy. If you've been seriously hurt in an accident, you need a law firm with a proven record of success. At our law firm, we've won millions of dollars to help our injured clients, like $6 million for a toddler paralyzed in a car accident, $9 million for the victim of a work-related injury who will never walk again, and $3 million for our client who suffered a severe brain injury in a motorcycle crash. To read more about our verdicts and settlements, visit edgarsnyder.com. For a free consultation, call 1-800-9-FOR-EDGAR.
fine summer. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Right now, current lessees can get this 2014 Chevy Cruze LT for around $149 a month. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Cost-cutting measures and a shrinking workforce is causing more mail deliveries to miss their 5 p.m. deadlines. That's according to the U.S. Postal Service. Officials say deadlines seem to be a real problem in Atlanta, Washington, D.C., Richmond, and South Florida. In those areas, mail is being delivered later than 5 o'clock, about 70% of the time. The Postal Service's goal is to complete deliveries before 5, 95% of the time. It is that time of day when we like to check in with our partners at the Post-Gazette to see what stories will be in tomorrow's newspaper. And joining us live from the KDK TV newsroom is Jenny Copas Joe. Hi, Jenny. How are you? I'm well and you. Very good. Thank you very much. So it's Thursday, and you like to talk about movies on Thursday. That's right, because Friday is the day we bring up the curtain on new movies. And tomorrow, our critic, Barb Van Cherry, says the sci-fi thriller Lucy is a brain teaser. Actress Scarlett Johansson stars in a film that examines the possibility of what a human can do if uncorked 100% of his or her brain is uncorked. And here's a spoiler alert. It's not always pretty. Barber also unravels the many faces of Hercules and says the latest adaptation of the story of the legendary strongman, well, it lacks muscle. Um, and the third movie uh, is entitled In so it goes, and it makes the case for second chances in love and family. The film stars Diane Keaton and Michael Douglas, but Barber says the film is bland and predictable for the baby boomer audience for which it's intended. Also coming up, another interesting story. Kate Miskin tells us the uh, reign of orange juice as a breakfast staple may be over. Data from the Florida Department of Citrus says sales are the lowest in 15 years and are dropping down even further. OJ has been replaced by bottled water. Yeah, people don't want the extra calories or the sugar, so you're right, you do see more people walking around with bottled water nowadays. All right, right. Jenny, as always, we appreciate it. We look forward to reading more of uh, Barb's uh, movie reviews and a lot of other stories in tomorrow's edition of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Thank you so much. Our pleasure, thanks. The immigration and border crisis is really hitting home. Up next, find out how many minors are being housed in Pennsylvania and why more could be on the way. Next at 5, new help for local homeowners when it comes to bad contractors. What you can do now to protect yourself. Then a common treatment for back pain that doctors now say is a waste. And serious dental problems for kids. See what's causing it next at 5. The Screaming Hot Zip Line at Seven Springs Mountain Resort offers a thrilling aerial adventure. Riders zigzag to six different towers, flying down nearly 2,000 feet of zip lines. For more information, visit the number 7springs.com. Seven Springs, your headquarters for outdoor fun. Maybe it's called the beaten path. Because it can be beaten. The 2014 Acura MDX with available surface street traffic information. Visit your Western Pennsylvania Acura dealer for attractive offers on the MDX. Have you seen signs that a loved one was abused in a nursing home and think you have to get a lawyer involved? Remember, a nursing home case is not a medical malpractice case. Robert Pearson Associates has fought to help nursing home victims and their families longer than any other Pittsburgh law firm. We have the resources to take on any nursing home abuse case. When a family member has been abused in a nursing home, lean on our experience in the law. Lean on us. It were easier to find exactly the right doctor, exactly the right care, in exactly the right place. What if you had a personal guide to help you choose from thousands of doctors and specialists here and around the country? Now you do. My Care Navigator is here to help you find your perfect match. You can schedule your first appointment and transfer your medical records with just one call. Only with Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. I do. I do. I do. What? I think one of you left your engine running. Introducing Kenny Ross Toyota Friends and Family Pricing. Deals so good, your last name might as well be Ross. Enjoy Friends and Family Pricing on any new Toyota this month only. Cars go fast. Kenny Ross. Huh? 
The Ultimate Laurel Highlands Golf Getaway is back. Play both Seven Springs and Hidden Valley. One and two night lodging packages at Seven Springs are available. For more information, visit the number 7springs.com. Seven Springs, your headquarters for outdoor fun. Next Insider, I'm inside Comic-Con with all the stars. Plus the dangerous new plastic surgery trend inspired by Kim. And new Fifty Shades of Grey sex scene. Next Insider. Tonight at 7.30. We continue to follow this breaking news out of Penn Hills. That's where a landscaping truck has crashed into a Dairy Queen. Witnesses told Marty Griffin that it appeared that the truck stalled or had some sort of mechanical problem before it crashed into the building on Verona Road. Five people were hurt. Most of them were employees. We'll have more details coming up in a live report at 5 o'clock. And more breaking news from the other side of the state. One worker has been killed and two people were injured when somebody opened fire at a hospital in Darby. That's just outside Philadelphia. Authorities say the suspect is in custody. The shooting happened at Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital's Wellness Center. There's no word on a motive. A little more than a year after three kidnapped women were rescued from a Cleveland home, one of them is revealing details of the horrific ordeal in a new book. Michelle Knight was the first of three women kidnapped by Ariel Castro. She is also the first out with a book detailing what happened while she was held captive for 11 years. I spoke tonight earlier today about the book called Finding Me, A Decade of Darkness, A Life Reclaimed. In her book, Michelle Knight writes in harrowing detail of being beaten, raped, and tortured at the hands of her captor, Ariel Castro. The details are very graphic. The um, for little kids or parents of like 14-year-old girls, I prefer their mothers and fathers to explain it to them so they'll more understand it. She discusses her chaotic childhood marked by neglect and abuse. She talks about her time as a runaway and homeless teen and how she lost custody of her son and her relationship with her family today. I had a little baby boy. He was my life. He was the reason why I kept on hanging on and having hope. Um, and right now, I'm currently not talking to my family. I'm a little bit more afraid of being put back in the same position. And I don't want to go there. And this is what she had to say about her current relationship with Amanda Berry and Gina DeJesus, the two other young women who were kidnapped. Me and the other two girls, we're healing in our own way right now. Eventually, later in life, we'll probably get back together. As for Knight's future, she says she remains positive and optimistic. I'm hoping to own my own house and eventually have a successful relationship and then hopefully adopt a child. Knight tells me that by sharing her story, she hopes to be a symbol of hope for the thousands of children and young adults who go missing every year. Her book, Finding Me, A Decade of Darkness, A Life Reclaimed, is in stores now. New numbers show there are about 500 immigrant children currently being housed in Pennsylvania. The State Department of Welfare says 120 children are in two temporary centers in the eastern part of the state, and 380 others are staying with sponsors. In our area, the Holy Family Institute in Emsworth is housing some of the children until they can be reunited with their families. Officials say more than 57,000 minors have crossed into the United States since October. Today marks the 12th anniversary of the Kew Creek Mine Rescue. Back in 2002, the eyes of the nation were on Somerset County. Nine miners were trapped underground for more than 77 hours from July 24th to July 28th. The miners had breached a wall separating their mine from an older flooded shaft. Rescue workers first had to deal with getting the men air and pumping the floodwaters out of the mine. Crews then drilled a rescue shaft, which eventually brought all nine men to the surface. The Labor Department later found outdated and inaccurate maps from 1957 led to that accident. Hamas militants are still firing rockets toward Israel's main airport, but the FAA has lifted a ban on U.S.-based flights to and from that area. Officials say Israel is taking adequate steps to make flying safe for travelers. Alfonso Van Marsh has the latest. Palestinian officials say Israeli tank shells hit a school in the Gaza Strip that was being used as a United Nations shelter. The attack left at least 15 people dead and dozens more wounded. 
This young man says, we were about to get out of the school, then they hit the school and kept on shelling it. Israel's military says it is investigating the incident and that it could have been Hamas rockets that hit the school. Israel says Hamas puts Palestinians in danger, placing rocket launchers and troops in civilian areas. This use of human shields uh, is extraordinarily cynical. It's grotesque. Hamas accuses Israel of targeting displaced Palestinians. Israel is to continue to make war crimes in Gaza. In the sky over Ashkelon, just outside Gaza, Israel's Iron Dome air defense system shot down another incoming Hamas rocket Thursday. Just over my shoulder is one of at least nine Iron Dome stations set up across the country, and most people living nearby say they're glad that the troops are here. These teenagers took a risky walk across an open field following a rocket intercept to visit the soldiers. <laughs> we made cookies for them. We wanted to bring them joy, 18-year-old Moria tells me. At least 167 rockets have been launched towards this city since the conflict escalated two weeks ago. Alfonso Van Marsh, CBS News, Ashkelon, Israel. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon says UN staff are among the casualties at the shelter bombing. He's demanding Israel and Hamas abide by international law and protect humanitarian workers. Testimony has ended in the trial to determine whether Donald Sterling's wife can sell the LA Clippers. Shelley Sterling wants to sell the team for $2 billion to former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer. Donald Sterling maintains he will not sell and has filed multiple lawsuits to keep it from happening. A video has outraged Baltimore Ravens fans. A Cleveland Browns fan taped himself urinating on the grave of former Ravens owner Art Modell. In the video, a man rips off a Ravens jersey to reveal a Cleveland Browns jersey hidden underneath. That's when he relieves himself on the grave. The Ravens have responded by saying they are aware of the video and are investigating the incident. He's got an extremely sick person. But that's just really disrespectful. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Falling. You better not catch him in Baltimore. With Baltimore County police are investigating whether the crime was committed. The Modell family says it plans to press charges. What happened to that mysterious bomber that went down in the Mon nearly 60 years ago? A group hopes to find out. I'm Dave Crawley. That story is new at five. Our newest Secretary of State is unconventional. I'm to be your stylist. I don't need a stylist. You don't have a choice in the matter. I've never met a situation where I don't have a choice in the matter. Unpredictable. We need to review your statement. What if I'm grateful for the opportunity to expose the world's cultural differences? That's really good. And unstoppable. Should I write it down for you? No, nope, I'm the writer. Just as long as our roles are clear. Tate Leone is Madam Secretary. Sundays this fall. The Toyota July Savings Event is on with big savings on many models. Now's the time to take home a Camry with 0% APR plus 1250 Toyota Finance Cash. Or get a Camry two-year Toyota Care lease for $189 a month and pay no scheduled maintenance. Shop Toyota's official website for deals. Buy Toyota.com for more offers that you won't see on TV. Toyota. Let's go places. Levin Furniture will be closed this Friday to prepare for our biggest sales event of the season. We're marking our showrooms down to 48 cents on the dollar. That's 48 cents on the dollar on reclining furniture, leather furniture, sectionals, bedrooms, and more. Plus, shop this Saturday from 10 to 9, and Levin's will pay your sales tax. Remember, Levin's will be closed all day Friday, but we'll reopen Saturday with an incredible offer. 48 cents on the dollar, plus an extra tax discount. Saturday at Levin's. Sun meets fun. Thrills meets spills. Summer comes together at Sandcastle, Pittsburgh's water park. So many rides, so many slides. Fun to fill a glorious day, memories to last a lifetime. Come make some memories, save time, and buy Sandcastle tickets online. Sandcastle, for 25 years, a Pittsburgh favorite. 101 Mobility, 412-267-7966.
At GMC, one incredible idea leads to another, like the GMC Terrain, the first compact SUV to offer an EPA-estimated 32 highway miles per gallon, over 100 standard features, including a standard rear vision camera, and now awarded the coveted 2014 IIHS Top Safety Pick, GMC. We are professional grade. Now, current non-GM owners can lease this Terrain for around $199 per month. See your Western Pennsylvania GMC dealer today. About 8,300 West Virginia families will soon be receiving money from the government courtesy of the Affordable Care Act. The payments will average about $177 per family. They're responsible or are possible due to a provision of the act that requires insurers to issue refunds if they spend an excessive amount on red tape and bonuses for executives. General Motors is paying out a hefty price for its recall issues, but it didn't exactly hurt the company's bottom line. Plus, even though online shopping is soaring in popularity, it might not trump a good old-fashioned trip to the store. Jerika Duncan has those stories and more from Wall Street. General Motors expects to pay at least $400 million in compensation to victims of the faulty ignition switch problem that has been linked to 13 deaths. That recall cost the world's largest automaker about $1.5 billion in the second quarter, but the company did post a net profit of $190 million. So far, GM has recalled nearly 30 million vehicles. Walmart CEO for stores in the United States, Bill Simon, is stepping down after four years in that position. 53-year-old Greg Foran, the CEO for Walmart Asia, will replace Simon. The changes take effect next month. Unemployment benefits are down once again. The Labor Department says applications for jobless claims fell by 19,000 last week to 284,000. That's the lowest number since February 2006, two years before the recession started. And shopping online has become increasingly popular. But a new study by A.T. Kearney found that 90% of all U.S. retail sales happen within four walls of a physical store. The survey was based on 2,500 U.S. shoppers. That's your Money Watch report. For the latest business news, go to cbsmoneywatch.com. In New York, I'm Jerika Duncan. All right, and here's how the markets ended today. The Dow is down almost three points. The Nasdaq is down one and a half. And the S&P 500 is up almost a point. We've enjoyed an absolutely beautiful day in the Pittsburgh area. The humidity has disappeared, but what is in store for the weekend? JB has your forecast coming up. Plus, do you dream of a perfectly maintained lush green lawn? It might not be as tough as you think. Three tips to keep your yard looking good during the summer months. That's coming up next. You better read the label. Had all these adverse effects that I never foresaw. Like serious trouble for your teeth. I'm 25. I've had two root canals already. What to look out for. It's being supplied now in high schools and colleges. Today on KDKA TV News at 5. Summer. It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Right now, current non-GM lessees can get this 2014 Chevy Equinox LS for around $179 a month. See your Western PA Chevy dealers. Over the last couple of years, there have been a lot of problems in the schools, a lot of cuts in the schools. Governor Tom Corbett cut nearly a billion dollars from education, forcing school districts to fire 20,000 teachers and staff. Tom Corbett does not understand the effect it has on children. His education cuts forced local governments to raise property taxes, all while he refused to make the oil and gas industry pay their fair share. We're living paycheck to paycheck. I'm paying more taxes, the middle class is paying more taxes, and these large companies, they're the ones benefiting. We cannot afford four more years of Tom Corbett. Stop driving that lemon. You can get a new car or refund, and help is free. Call 1-800-LEMON-LAW. Driving a lemon, make the call to 1-800-LEMON-LAW. It's an instinct that guides us, a passion for performance. 
That's why we created the Infiniti Q50S with performance wheel package. It has more power and better overall handling and cornering performance than the BMW 335i M Sport Sedan. When you follow your instincts, the results are undeniable. Lease the Infiniti Q50 with all-wheel drive for $369 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Technology that can help make Pittsburgh millions of dollars that we can't use? We are other competitors around the world are using this type of technology. If others are doing it, then what's holding us back? It's an absolute need. KDKA Investigates, tonight at 6. Walking with Dinosaurs, the arena spectacular. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see the best-selling family show of all time. Opening night tickets are just $25. Molino, a Pittsburgh family business since 1930. This video is making its rounds on social media, and I bet you can't look at it and not smile. We don't know who this man is, but he's having such a good time dancing. He throws his sticks down. He throws the canes down just so he can go harder on the dance floor. I mean, he's like, yeah, pulls his hair. That's like a new dance move or something. He's like, turned down for what? You know, he's just going. I, I think it's just a great example. There he is dancing with a younger woman. I think it's just a great example of just life and living life to its fullest. You know, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. We he's forever young. We should all live that long and That's act right. that way when we get there. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I thought he was going to rip his shirt off. At some <laughs> it point. looked like he, he Maybe he did. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Oh, God bless him. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, take a look at Now, you know what? We got dancing weather coming. It's, it's already yeah, it here, is. Kimberly. Look at that. The showers are out of here. Maybe that's what the guy was getting so excited about, this forecast. Where was that, by the way? It was uh, some other country, not here. America. Oh, okay. Really some other country. All right. Well, I'd love to bring that guy to America and get him to dance in our streets. <laughs> Hey, uh, let's take a look right now at uh, what well, we are looking at Viper Radar, and there's not much to see. I mean, uh, the rain is gone. Uh, we've got some fair weather cumulus clouds left over, but they'll be getting out of here soon, and we're going to go clear overnight tonight. It's actually going to be a uh, gorgeous and, uh, in some locations, kind of chilly night. I'll talk about that coming up right now. Nothing chilly about the temperatures. They're all good. They're all in the 70s, with one lone exception as we go to our weather bug network. On it, you can see... Johnstown at 69, the only one that's not cooperating. Donegal's close to being out of the 70s at an even 70 degrees. Everybody else, though, is doing a little bit better. And highs and lows today were very comfortable on both ends, with lows this morning in the upper 50s and low 60s, and highs this afternoon, as you can see, represented by Cannonsburg, uh, Penn Trafford High School, and uh, Newcastle High, all in the low to mid 70s and that goes for Pittsburgh International where we also topped out in the mid 70s 76 to be exact 61 our low this morning that does put us four degrees though below the averages of 82 and 63 but I didn't hear any complaints hard to complain about this when you got humidity under 50 percent and the dew point right in there at 50 degrees 51 pressures just over 30 inches of mercury and the skies are partly sunny at this hour now tomorrow it's going to be even better with almost no clouds, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. I've been saying that for a couple of days. Comfortably warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s and low humidity levels. Just a perfect day. And I hope you make the most of it because we're heading into a relatively cool, and we've been talking about this all week, an unusually cool period next week that's not going to be cold, but there is one day where some of you may not get out of the 60s for highs. So for late July, that is a little on the cool side, but we'll be fine. Don't worry. 78 degrees today, 83 or tomorrow rather, 83 on Saturday, and that day we'll see showers arriving late day. I think most of the day is rain free until after about four o'clock, and then watch out showers and storms any old time on Sunday. A leftover shower early Monday, then clearing in the afternoon. There's that cool day on Tuesday, 71 degrees, as I said, for the high. Uh, that's uh, 10 or 12 below normal, and some of you won't even get there. Maybe not getting out of the 60s for highs on that one single day. Then we start to come back up, but we're still below normal, Kim, all the way until the 3rd of August when we hit 82 degrees that day, and then we bounce up into the, well, not very far, to 83 on the 6th. But a nice, cool, comfortable stretch coming up. What summer? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Back to you.
Not too bad, JB. Thank you. A large sinkhole has opened in an Alabama neighborhood. Residents in Lee County worry it will grow much bigger before it gets fixed. The sinkhole is so large, some underground pipes have been exposed. Homeowners say they have repeatedly called city and county leaders, but all claim to have no responsibility for the repairs. So Lee County doesn't want to do anything because they say paperwork originally when the road was built was not um, filed correctly, so it's an, it's an unmaintained county road. Um, Phoenix City Utilities doesn't want to really do anything. They say it's not their problem. Local leaders have told neighbors to petition the commissioner to add the area to county jurisdiction so they have authority to fix it. It can be hard to find the time and energy to maintain a perfectly manicured lawn, but don't get discouraged. In today's Angie's List report, three simple tips to a healthy summer lawn. Here's Susan Copen. Lawn experts tell us there are three easy things you can do to keep your grass looking great. Don't overwater it, don't cut it too short, and use the right fertilizer. Trimming your grass as short as possible may seem like a good way to save time, but you're creating more work in the long run. If you're going to cut the grass real short, it, you're, from a distance, you're not going to see as much leaf blade, so you're not going to get as much color. The grass is going to be thinner, so weeds can pop up a lot more. Um, and the sun is going to come down to the soil and dry out the soil more. Don't go crazy with watering, but don't slack off either. A general rule is to water an inch per week during the active growing season. They have sprinkler systems where they're set turned on to where they're watering, say, 15 minutes every day. Um, what happens is, is when the sprinkler comes on, you're wetting the turf first. Then it works its way down to the base. And then when you start to get into watering the actual dirt, the system shuts off. Fertilizer is important for healthy, lush growth. But if you apply it incorrectly, you can quickly turn your lawn from green to brown. We use dry, slow-release products all year long because we want to slow feed the turf. The granulars fall to the base and goes directly to the root system. Whereas when you spray liquid fertilizer, you're going to coat the leaf blades of the grass. Then if you mow or whatever, you're going to mow that off. When hiring a professional to help you with your lawn, remember it's a process. It's not something that happens overnight. And honestly, a red flag is a provider that tells you they can fix it overnight. All right, well, they say everything's bigger in Texas, but maybe not after all. The tiny house movement is really catching on. In fact, a petition is circulating around Austin fighting for deregulation so people can build tiny homes. But before the local lawmakers weigh in, some people are going ahead with their plans to downsize. It dawned on me at some point that I had spent $194,000, give or take, on um, rent in my lifetime. And so I really wanted to look for a better solution, not having to care for such a large home, not worrying about making a huge mortgage payment. One man is now fighting to create a tiny home community. To do it, he must have 54 signatures. It's not clear when council members will rule on the issue. And in Wyoming, a similar movement is underway. While small, these homes have all the bells and whistles and are environmentally friendly as well. They are only 400 square feet, but they boast hardwood flooring, impressive bathrooms, and a fully functioning kitchen. The price has run from about 90000 to 100000 for homes with a loft. You could call it a real hazard of the job. A man who dives for balls on a golf course in Florida ended up in the hospital after he came face to face with an alligator. The 10 foot gator was hiding in the lake and when the man went down after some golf balls, the gator took a chunk out of the man's arm. This isn't the first time the man's been bitten. I just got bit and I got out of the water as soon as possible. Being at the wrong place at the wrong time and I just hope uh, it doesn't happen again. It's a rare occasion. I mean, I've been diving for years and years. Well, after being bitten, the man shrugged off the gator and drove himself to the clubhouse for help. He was bitten on the same arm back in 2006 while diving for golf balls on a different golf course. It is a 40-year-old tradition and something that attracts thousands of people every year. Up next, the opening day of Comic-Con and what makes this year even more exciting. But first, here's Christine. Kimberly, thanks. Next at 5, we continue to follow breaking news. Five people rushed to the hospital after a truck plowed into a Dairy Queen. We're live with new details from investigators. 
It was a tragic accident. Two little girls killed when a dresser fell on them. So why are their parents now charged? Plus, it could prevent thousands of cases of cancer every year. So why aren't people taking advantage of this potentially life-saving vaccine? And a new warning for active kids from the dentist, what those kids are doing that could be ruining their teeth. It's all coming up at 5. Don't go away. Summer's Best Event. Lease this 2014 SRX for around $329 a month or purchase with 0% APR. Visit your Western Pennsylvania Cadillac dealer for this exceptional offer. Nice laptop. Tablet, too. <laughs> Yo, where'd you get that? Office Depot. Office Max. <laughs> a chandelier? A rug? Where'd you get that? Office Depot. Office Max. Great backpack. Where'd you get that? Office Depot. Now there are two great places to get the must-have school supplies that'll make them smile. Get over a thousand items, five dollars or less. Send them back happy with Office Depot and Office Max. Are you coming down for lunch? There's a place where kids really connect to learning. Are you getting hungry? Commonwealth Connections Academy. It's a tuition-free, fully accredited online public school where students find devoted, enthusiastic teachers and a program that gives them everything they need to succeed. Lunch is getting cold. All of which means that Connections Academy students get wrapped up in school like never before. Commonwealth Connections Academy, the online public school. Good day at school. Great day at school. Get free injury help fast. One click that quick at edgarsnyder.com. Mia Hamm has always been driven to win. The conviction to be the best. This is the Mazda way. Now during Mazda's winning lineup event, you'll find two cars on Car and Driver's 10 best list. And for a second year in a row, Mazda is KBB.com's lowest cost to own brand over five years. Come see Mazda's most acclaimed lineup ever. What do you drive? Now lease the 2014 Mazda 3 ISV for $159 a month for 36 months. Next at 5, new help for local homeowners when it comes to bad contractors, what you can do now to protect yourself. Then a common treatment for back pain that doctors now say is a waste. And serious dental problems for kids. See what's causing it next at 5. The opening day of Comic-Con is drawing thousands of comic book fans and stars from around the world. Began Shaban is there with a look at the annual pop culture convention. Nicole Shrimpton thought she'd need superpowers just to get here. Tickets for San Diego's 45th Comic-Con sold out months ago. But the devoted fan got one and drove 33 hours from Canada. It has games, it has comics, it has movies, it has really every kind of aspect you could want, really for everyone. San Diego's mayor, Kevin Faulkner, swung into action to kick off Comic-Con by ziplining 200 feet past a mock Gotham City. This truly is the Super Bowl of conventions. Over $175 million uh, in economic impact. And people love it, they believe in it, and, uh, and oftentimes they live it. But Comic-Con isn't just for the living. Even The Walking Dead and fans of the television show have a place here. This convention has grown far beyond comic books into a showcase for all sci-fi and superhero pop culture. That includes the caped crusader himself, Batman, who turned 75 this year. I grew up on comics, so it really means everything to me. Mike Thibodeau is a former comic artist turned collector. He now sells original artwork that was used to make comic books from Archie to Spider-Man. You're selling this one page for over $20,000. I am. I'm asking, asking over $20,000. Yes. He hopes to sell over $100,000 worth of his work before the world's largest comic book convention ends this Sunday. Gatchaban, CBS News, San Diego. More of today's top story and JB's local forecast are coming up next. KDK TV News with Christine Sorensen starts right now. 
right now at 5, a truck plows into a Dairy Queen, sending five people to the hospital. What investigators think caused the truck to barrel right into the side of the building. It was a tragic accident.